Mr. T and his Hattel Earpods. Great Hebrew word for atonement, teshuva. Translation, get real, be normal again. In Hebrew, the word has five letters, hinting at five steps to spiritual normalcy. So if you have that nagging feeling that Yom Kippur won't quite do it for you, as you have lots and lots to atone for, and one day is not enough time, then feel reassured, you have another week to make amends. In fact, right up to Hoshana Rabbah, the day before the final days of Sukkot. Only then does Deloitte's branch skyline finish its orders and sign off your books with a red-hot seal. So here goes, the big high five. Sincerity. Don't kid yourself. You did wrong. No extenuating circumstances. You messed up. You know it and God knows it. Don't rationalize or make excuses. Don't try to diminish it with ingenuous arguments. Just admit it openly and sincerely and face it squarely. Don't close your eyes like a young child thinking that way you can't be seen. Make a lachaim, pluck up courage and to shove it where it needs to go. Responsibility. The word responsible presupposes you plus someone else. You aren't just responsible to yourself. Well, that too. But that's not the same as feeling responsible to whoever you figuratively smacked in the face, especially if it happened to be the creator of the universe, the God almighty biggest face to smack. Just fess up and do the right thing and take responsibility for your behavior and actions. Love. Unless you love yourself, you can't do any real to shivering. Well, you might, out of fear of penalties and fines, which are quite hefty in the next world. Better hedge your bets if you're advanced in years and closer to the big highway up in the sky, or it might be turn back and face yet another reincarnative shot at getting it right. But best do to shiver out of love. Loving oneself doesn't mean to be in love with yourself. It means to recognize that you have something very lovable about you, your soul. Your bit of godliness that makes you tick, as well as your heart. Holistic. Teshuvah is not a halfway house. It's not just being a cerebral Jew. I read lots of Jewish novels. Or a cardiac Jew. I feel so Jewish. Or even a gastronomic Jew. I eat gefilte fish every Friday night. It's probably all or nothing. Like you can't be a little pregnant. So, practice a holistic, maybe even holistic teshuva, and don't kid yourself that others aren't looking. There's always that big eye in the sky. Humility. Teshuva doesn't mean that you shout it out from the tallest building. It's only real when it whispers to you from the still, small voice deep within. Teshuva is an intimate undertaking, carried out in the privacy of your spiritual bedroom. Empty vessels make the most noise. And best to listen to yourself quietly through Happel earpods to hear that sound of Shuvah singing its happy truths through you. Don't wait for the admiring mega boom people speakers to boom out what a great guy gal you are. That's simply sound distortion. So high fives and a good yontif.